in the course of the day, I also tell myself, like, I'll be driving and I'll say, you know, you got this. Because I get really overwhelmed with things, you know, like, oh my God, how am I going to pull this off? How am I going to pull that off? Which I know I'm not alone, right? And so for me, those uh, moments when I'm by myself, nobody's around, and I'm just telling myself, Ashley, you got this. You can do it. It will work. I feel that the things that I've worried about never, you know what I mean? I pretty much was just overreacting. And so I calm myself down just by reminding myself that it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. You're going to get through it. So that's pretty much what I do. I would say, how many people in here have heard of meditation? Oh, good. So I meditate every day. It's a big part of my life and what I do. And sometimes we overthink how to do it, right? But all it is is sitting still, sitting comfortably, closing your eyes, and being quiet. And I've noticed that for me, starting my day with that, or if I'm ever really overwhelmed or stressed out or just maybe not getting along with some people in my life, whatever it is, I say, you know what, you need to be quiet. And I sit down and I get comfortable and I do that. So I would really challenge anybody in here um, to try that, you know. However old you are, if you're 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, meditate once a day for how old you are. So if you're 15, meditate for 15 minutes. If you're 16, up at a minute. And all it is is closing your eyes and being quiet and trying not to think too much about anything in particular. Um, something else that I love to do because sometimes, you know, we don't have like the luxury of being able to, you know, I remember people used to always say, go shopping, girl, that'll make you feel better. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And then you're broke and it's not worth it. <laughs> but something I do, if I know that I need a distraction or if I know that I need to get more connected with myself or show myself a little more love and positivity, I'll take a walk and really challenge myself to find something beautiful everywhere I look. And wherever you walk, there's always something, right? Even if you, like, like I lived in New York for a time, and so you didn't see really anything nice <laughs> when you walk outside. But I really challenge myself to find something beautiful on every block. And I would find a tree, or I would find a little area where one flower was growing through that concrete. Or I would find the way the sun was hitting a sign on the wall and say, you know what, that's beautiful, that's God. So wherever you are, wherever you can take a moment to take a 15 to 30 minute walk, find something beautiful everywhere you look. And just by doing that, you're shifting your perspective, you're shifting your energy that's inside to make everything about your life feel better. I have an inspirational mix that I listen to every morning, and it's um, it's just songs that are just for me. They're kind of all over the place. Some are religious songs. Some are, you know, it's Lauryn Hill or just anyone that, that I really like that at, at some point in time has, has really impacted me. There's some Kanye on there, and, and you know, it's like a 45-minute playlist. I commute from here land into the city, and I listen to it every single morning, and it's kind of like my reset button, my routine. Uh, it reminds me a lot of like uh, where I've been and where I'm going. So I think that that is, is something that, that I like to do. And I also um, set goals. Like I am constantly reevaluating my goals all the time. So like on a monthly basis, I have short-term goals and I have long-term goals. And I'm thinking about how my short-term goals can fit into my long-term goals. And, you know, if I've achieved something, I'm just always reevaluating. So I think that just having goals and having dreams is, re you know, and thinking about how you're going to get there. And even if you don't get there, if you've moved yourself further along the, the pendulum or further along the line than you were, um, that is something to be proud of. So I, um, I, that's what I do to stay encouraged. Um, similar to what we talked about earlier, um, I run and walk every day, try to, maybe not run every day, but I'm easy to walk in. Um, so I try to just walk and go outside and, and um, just kind of be in the presence. Um, I leave my phone at home um, because it can be a distraction. So that is about 20 minutes every single morning that I spend just planning for the day, thinking about things that I otherwise forget about because of technology, and um, being able to have a clear mind on what's a priority for me. So just going outside is really, really helpful for me every single day. And I know sometimes the weather is not permitting, but um, when it's around 7 a.m., it's really nice. 
I would say the same thing. I'm, I'm really into um, fitness, and, and I think being able to maybe take a walk, and even if you can't get outside and do it, um, maybe, you know, doing something indoors um, as far as, you know, something just to kind of allow you to focus just on you for that day and those kinds of things. I think also singing those kind of that great self-talk and kind of making sure we are really mindful of our self-talk, what are we saying to, to ourselves on a daily basis, and you have to kind of coach yourself through some things. I think Ashley Dunn on the end mentioned this, and that is, you know, saying those positive things to yourself or when you get ready to go. I do a lot of speaking around the country, globally actually, uh, and around the world. And before I go and speak anywhere in any large form or small form, I always pray beforehand and just say that, you know, I ask God to let me do what I came to do and what he actually brought me there to do, and that is to serve people. And so I, I find that when I am in serving others, and focusing on sometimes giving to other people, that is a kind of, um, it's, it restores me. So I, I feel, you know, more energized when I'm giving something out. It actually is not so much for them. I actually get a lot more back. And so when I'm giving, that's a way, I think, to boost my kind of spirit or whatever is let me go in, give something. And I don't think you can come away with a negative feeling when you are giving to others. So sometimes when you get down in the dumps, go out and maybe do something for someone else in a giving way or serving way, and that will help you feel better, uh, almost automatically. So you see, we've kind of transitioned into um, health and relationships and, and what you all do to make you feel um, feel stronger and feel better as a person. So why do you think it's important to develop healthy, healthy friendships and relationships?